One big feature in GrandMA 3 version 1.7 is the XYZ programming. So you know from former versions that we already implemented the PSN protocol to get XYZ data into the console. And we also implemented marker fixtures, which can move objects in our 3D on stage. Now we can also use the XYZ attributes for our fixtures. You can see it. We selected some spots here. And within the position feature group, you can change to XYZ and you can use the X, Y and Z attributes to control the position of our fixtures. And you can also connect the beams of the fixtures to a marker fixture. So whenever a marker fixture is moved on stage due to internal moving or from external XYZ data, so via PSN, the beams of the fixtures will follow that marker. So let's have a look at this from a specific sequence. You can see the marker here is connected to the singer on stage. And the sequence shows us now that whenever this marker is moving, the beams will automatically follow the marker and the singer on stage due to the connection to the marker fixture. This is also true if the truss is moving, for example, or if the truss is rotating in a kind of way. And if we have some more fixtures with some more trusses, which are moving in different areas or rotating in different directions. So as long as the fixtures are connected to the marker fixture, which moves on stage, the beams will follow the marker. So that's one of the basic requirements we fulfill now in Granomate 3 version 1.7 regarding XYZ programming. But there is an additional functionality which is completely new, which is called spaces. So each marker can have a specific space and the space can have a specific size. Why is that important? So let's have a look at this situation where we place the fixtures in a row behind the singer. Now the space of the marker takes care that whenever we move the singer on stage, the alignment of the fixtures will be automatically adjusted and will be kept in the row behind the singer. So the space of the marker of the singer takes care that the alignment is always correct. Imagine a catwalk, for example, which is five meters long and you do an alignment and the next time so the next week you come to a different venue, the catwalk is now eight meters long. As long as you just change the size of the space, the alignment of the fixture will be automatically adjusted, even in some complex situations where you have a kind of three rows or circles around a marker, or you just use some fixtures to align like this catwalk situation. The space is a really nice tool to automatically adjust the alignment of fixtures due to still or moving markers.